What up, good people? This is um, Katie from the Grass Skirt Lounge. Back at you guys with another video. Sorry about the zooming. I'm just messing around with my phone. Looking at this nice sky, whatever. Chilling, lounging, laid back. Um, hold it real quick. So I just had to blaze up real quick before I got into this topic. And the topic is net neutrality. Well, <coughs> damn. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yup, there you go. That's how you know you got some really good shit. Um, anyway, net neutrality. How many of you guys are aware of the issue with net neutrality? Now, I'm not going to make this video for so long. But I just wanted to uh, 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 basically inform you guys if you didn't know about this. Now, net neutrality, basically in a nutshell, is the government trying to repackage the internet the same way they did with cable when it switched from analog to digital. You guys remember that? If you're, you know, weren't born in the fucking 21st century, you probably do know something about this, you know, um, where you had the option to have cable or not have cable. You could still watch TV. But now with um what they do did with repackaging cable and putting everything on a digital signal and getting rid of all analog broadcast now you don't have a choice but but to watch cable because there are no more analog signals now the signal the the, the way the signal is going to be conveyed to you with the internet isn't going to change but they just figured that they can repackage the internet the same way they did with cable for instance when you um get ca when when you get cable you have a choice of the basic standard you know premium and platinum level types of service right they're going to do the same thing with the internet where certain certain uh websites or whatever will be part of a standard basic you know a basic standard premium or platinum level of service so you'll basically have access to the amount to the internet that you have the money to pay for so they're going to just basically continue to fleece the fuck out of us because the powers that be are greedy as fucking fuck. And if you guys weren't aware of it, people in government work for a lot of these large corporations. You know, they take the money that the lobbyists hand their asses. They sit on the board of directors of a lot of these companies or they are executives in a lot of these companies, people that work in government. Now, you would think that that's a huge fucking, a, a huge, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um... Man, I'm having a fucking brain fart. That's what happens when you're a pie head. Um, conflict of interest. There you go. Like, for instance, like, um, like uh, what was it? Um, Dick Cheney worked on the, uh, was was on the board of directors of NutraSuite, right? But he, he worked on, um, on the bill to have aspartame, uh, which is, you know, one of the main ingredients in NutraSuite and diet drinks and things of this nature. You see it in a lot of drinks. He worked on the board. Of, he sat on the board of directors of NutraSweet that helped pass the bill to make aspartame legal to put in your food. And do your research on aspartame. It's a very dangerous fucking substance. Very dangerous chemical. They put it in um, they put it in a uh, diet stuff. And aspartame is actually 100 times sweeter than sugar. But in any in any event. That was a conflict of interest. But for some reason, when you work in government at these levels, that doesn't really matter how you can be on the board of directors or an executive in a company. Work in government and pass laws and bills that directly affect that company. It's, it's fucking crazy, man. It's crazy. But this is I mean, so not only do we have to worry about, you know, positive marijuana activism and legalization. Now we got to worry about net neutrality and this, that and the third. What I say is. Do not allow yourselves to be controlled by the powers that be. They are the 1%. We are the 99%. There is no reason why we should allow the 99% to continue to tell us what the fuck we can and can't do. You know what I'm saying? There, there is no reason why. So far as consumerism is concerned, you know how you control the, the, the 1%? You stop buying their shit. You stop spending money on their goods. That's how you, that's how you get them in check. That's how you force their hand. You take away their lifeblood, which is money, and they cannot touch you. They have to do what you want them to do. 
But we become such a, a, a land of consumers that we don't pay attention to that because we're too distracted with Rob Kardashian in Black China. We're too shit like that. You know, we're, we're too consumed with that shit. You know, the, the fucking new Planet of the Apes movie. When in a, was it the next uh, Star Wars movie? Kind of. We're too we're too consumed with distractions. This is why a lot of shit doesn't really get done the way it needs to get done, and when it should get done. You know, out of the ninety nine percent of people out there, maybe it's 15 percent of people that are actually awake and realize what's going on. I mean, you have to think that because we're the ones that fuel the economy. Like for instance, like with the cable thing. After a while, I said, "Fuck cable." Why the fuck should I spend so much money watching bullshit anyway? Literally, all I see on cable, you know, unless, unless anything other than a premium channel is somebody trying to sell me some shit. Sell me on a product. Here, buy this. Spend money on that. Take a trip here. Go there. Do this. Do that. But you're going to need money to do it. Here, it's only $99.99. And get the fuck out of here, man. I got tired of that. So I said, fuck cable. I said, fuck, what do I need cable for when I got the internet? Fuck cable. But now they're trying to do that to the internet. And you know what I'll say? If it happens to the internet, fuck the internet. I know how to read, so I'm never going to be lost for information because I can read quite well, actually. Rather well. So for all of you illiterate sons of bitches out there, if you want to keep the internet the way it is, you better stand the fuck up and fight because I'm going to tell you right now, <clears throat> the way things is going... They're going to get their way. The FCC is going to be able to charge these motherfuckers more money to provide you service, which means they're going to have to break up the service into packages in order to stay afloat. We got to wake up, man. We, we got to see what's really going on. But that's all I really had to say about this, man. Um, I wanted to put you guys on point with the whole net neutrality thing. You know, it, 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 it's an issue. And depending on how much you enjoy the Internet... You know, we might need to um, band together and fight against this. I mean, I'm using the Internet right now, right fucking now, to broadcast this public service announcement to you guys. <clears throat> if not for the Internet, I wouldn't have the ability to do this. So how important is net neutrality to you?